Hello, today we're looking at cauliflower cloning. Sounds a lot more exciting than it actually is. Well, I say that, but it's actually quite cool because what we're doing is we're going to be taking a cauliflower and then we're going to be growing one that's genetically exactly identical with that one, but from a teeny, teeny tiny part of it using just a bit of jelly. So what's in the jelly? What is the process of doing so? Let's have a look. First of all, we have to maintain a sterile condition, mainly because of the fact that that's food and lots of nutrients. It's a very nutrient rich there with lots of growth hormones present as well. As such, anything, and I'm talking about bacteria, pathogenic, pathogenic ones, non-pathogenic ones, but also fungi, uh, and any other microorganisms that manage to get hold of that will be like, ooh, food and we'll just grow non-stop as well, out-competing your cauliflower, so we don't want that. So we have to make sure that our whole workspace is sterile and I maintain sterile conditions as best as possible. So first things first, I bet you missed the smell of this. Yeah, a bit of that. Then I'm going to sterilize my equipment as well as my work area. So let's just get this off the side for a bit. As much as possible, I'm speaking all over this, but hey, um, ethanol, just to clear away everything. Okay, I think that's good enough. Next, we would want to make sure that my forceps are equally present and cleaned off as well, because I'll be using that to handle the cauliflower. So again, that goes into some ethanol as well. We're also going to be using a disinfectant called SCID, SDICN, where um, it just kills off everything as well, and that's to wash our cauliflower later. Same idea. Cauliflower is going to be full of other, all sorts of stuff growing on it. So here we go. What we're going to do, we're going to use a Petri dish, which will help us maintain our little area of sterility in that sense. So first of all, get your cauliflower from one stop. Yeah, yeah, quality. Only for the best for my upper fifth lot. Taking cauliflower out. Okay, I'm going to cut just a little bit because I don't really need too much. Step one, get your cauliflower. Step two, take a small, tiny X plant. So an X plant doesn't mean it was a plant, but sort of like a teeny tiny bit of a plant. Okay, so we're talking a little tiny bit of that. I'm going to make a couple just to, in the hopes of maximizing my chances. I'm speaking all over this, which is not ideal because my, you know. Okay, I'm going to chuck these bits. So if you notice, I don't know how good the camera is, but yeah. So these are quite large for x really, but I'm going to cut them down a bit more still to get an even tinier bit there. Because that's all we really need to grow a whole, to clone. Okay, I'll then take these, now that my forceps are clean, Start the timer. I'm going to give this a swirl so then the disinfectant gets into all of the bits and bobs as best as possible. Every couple minutes, come back for a little swirl.
cauliflower cheese tonight. So for 15 minutes, we have left it inside the solution. We have also tried to clean all the nooks and crannies as much as possible to make sure we kill off, as I said, all the different microorganisms that are living on the cauliflower explants themselves. We put our forceps back into the cleaner as well, because like I said, we're going to make sure we maintain sterility as much as possible when we open the different vials containing the growth medium and the growth jelly. And the meat, yeah, the meat, the meat. So, that's all ready to go. One more spray just to make sure. Okay. Right. And all it is, is we're going to put the explant firmly in the nutrient boros. So you can see all it is, is just putting the little explant onto the medium itself. Give it the right growing conditions. Label it with the date, and we're good to go. And there you have it. I now have four explants growing on the medium, ready to be put on a windowsill with a little bit of sunlight, and we're ready to grow, clone our cauliflower.